Are you tired of uh, fucking up the thing that we were supposed to do? <laughs> Hold on, let me get tired of ordinary podcasting. Don't touch that dial. Horribly off topic is on the air. We're not on the air. And we're not on the dial. I completely fucked that up. <laughs> I completely fucked that up. That was, uh, we were trying to do <laughs> the opening to SCTV, which is uh, Second City TV. Second City. Why are they the Second City, Steve? I, because apparently New York is the first. See, you were you spent all that time, you were trying to figure out what is uh, what is Chicago, the city of... I was too busy. Of, it's the city of... Oh, wait. It's the Second City. That's, that's, that's what, is that, that's that what, what it we is? Were, I think that's what we were looking for the oh, whole but time. But I typed uh, Chicago... And why we are concerned with Chicago will become apparent. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, Chicago, the city, I typed in that into Google, and it, it said Chicago, the city of big shoulders. Mm. Chicago, the city of love. Okay. I didn't find it to be that. <laughs> um, I didn't, I, although what about I, the big shoulders? I wasn't paying attention to how big people's shoulders were. Okay. And um, there was two conventions going on mm. while I was there. Oh, by the way, I went to Chicago, if you didn't listen last week. Mm. And Chicago, the city of the century. I don't know if that was last century or mm. this century. And Chicago, the city is yours. Chicago. I don't know if that's us or it's, it's for us. for, uh, for Or for Chicagoans. For Chicagoinians. Chicago seems like the sort of place where they had like one of those expositions, like one of those like the world's fairs or something like that. And that's where it would have been declared the city of the, the world or city of the city of tomorrow or well, like whatever. You Philadelphia know. is the city of brotherly love. And it's mm. very, very far away from that. Yeah. I, I mean, as far as being intolerant, I think, mm. I mean, uh, they burn uh, their brothers? own brothers. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Oh, just in general. Just in general. I mean, Sisters I don't think too. they're very tolerant there of, mm. uh, of each other. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly not love between brothers. I mean, and there, there aren't a lot of places in, in the United States that are tolerant of love between brothers. I'm just well, how do you and John feel about each other? Well, not, that, not that kind of love. I'm talking, oh, okay. about, I'm talking about, you know, incest. Oh, why that's, are you talking about, why did it go to incest immediately? Because everything has to go someplace dirty on horribly off topic. I'm a soft topic. <laughs> <laughs> we were, yes. Before the no, show. No, we don't. Don't explain. No, okay, don't explain. <laughs> People are going to be like, "Why did they say that?" I don't Hard know. Maybe you should top. be in the room with us right before we record. Assholes. Maybe. We maybe we should. I. I. Do I still have that app on here somewhere? I had that app. Uh, the, the the Periscope. And once upon a time, I was gonna. I was gonna live gonna, stream. Um, our our show. I was gonna have I was gonna be on the Periscope. You should be on the Periscope right before the show. Right before the show. And see, so be like, "Hey guys, tune into the show when I post it later tonight, <laughs> yeah. or in two days if we recorded this on Saturday, right? Or tonight if we recorded it tonight? Because yes, it tonight, is, tonight is Monday. Monday, I got, Monday, Monday, Monday. We got back yesterday, but the the level of doing stuff that mm. Becky and I want had was like at an all time low. Yeah. Well, we were having um, a a birthday party, um, a second birthday party for my my daughter Kaylee yesterday. So it wouldn't have worked out. Ooh. There were a lot of ten year olds in my house. A ten year old ten year old girls to be I remember I, I, I she purposely told me that I was not invited. Not invited to her birthday party. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, well I'm gonna be in Chicago anyways I anyway, think was my response. Yes. Actually, no, I was uh, I was back. You were back. I could have gone. Yeah, yeah. I could have, she I, did not want me there. No, I don't Doesn't know. Doesn't want she, her dad's weird friend. I don't know if she wanted <laughs> me there. I'm not sure. She certainly at times didn't want her sister there. That's, you know, to be expected. Um, but a lot of 10-year-old, uh, 10-year-old what is What is the subject of conversation uh, between 10 year old 10 year olds right now 10 year olds um because i don't remember what we talked about when we well you were you would have been 12 yeah i when don't i was 10 i don't remember really what i are they i could tell you what they were doing we were uh, probably i mean ninja turtles yeah ninja turtles that was, was a probably, big thing who framed roger rabbit i mm -hmm. think he had just come out when yeah, uh, john when and i 10. were in fifth grade that's right 1989, yeah. So what? 1989. That's what you got to think about. The Simpsons was pretty. Yeah, I think the Simpsons new. had just started. So that, like, mm -hmm. you know, playing Nintendo games. George H. W. Bush taking office that year. Yeah, well, I don't think I was talking about. I was. I. I, I think I might have been talking about Dukakis because mm. he was a local guy. Because he was local. Yeah. Because he was getting local for you. Yeah, getting before. local for you in 1989 in the presidential we election. Were. Yeah. Um. 
What did what were they talking? Because he about? was no Gary Hart. No. I listened to a podcast that said something about Gary Hart, and I'm like, I would have voted for that guy despite his infidelity. Nah. Look it up. It was. Um, uh, we all voted for Bill Clinton. I didn't. I was too young. Well, I mean, did I? Did I? Was I able to? Yes, the second time. Yeah, I, I couldn't. Time, I, I couldn't. I couldn't vote back then. Yeah, yeah. My the first presidential election that I could vote in was the 2000 election. Oh yes. Which I voted for Ralph Nader. Ralph Nader. And it's okay. It's Al Gore right. still won Massachusetts. We're good. <laughs> if I was in Florida, I might have been one of those fuck ups. One of those people. Um, what were the ten year olds talking about? Well, they ate a lot of popcorn. Um, they immediately like this kind of popcorn, like that kind. Of, no. Yes, that kind of popcorn. They ate a lot of popcorn. Um, they immediately eschewed the um, the Capri Sun that was in the corner, specifically for the party, and went right for the soda because their parents weren't around. Kaylee was the only one that, because her parents were around, that didn't get to have soda. I think we let oh, come her on. Have, it was her damn birthday. I think we let her have a um, uh, rum and coke. And I, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> lots of lots of Bacardi on the. Um, no, so uh, yeah, so they did that, and then they were playing apples to apples, uh, apples the, to the, apples. The junior. kids, the kids version, I imagine. Kids version, yes. Not the one with the Challenger explosion no. in there. <laughs> they were not. Uh, they were not playing cards against humanity. Uh, the which is the really adult version, right? I, 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 I. Th- there is a certain point, like I think maybe two thousand seven, where I like mm. apples to apples was great. Yes. I really liked playing it. Mm-hmm. And then maybe I think a year or two after I kind of I kind of got sick of it. And mm-hmm. then Cards Against Humanity came out. Yeah. And I was like this is all right, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It's like it's like hey the, this card game goes to 11. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I what I liked about watching it was just that like Kaylee um Kaylee was very. We, we moved as as long time listeners of the show know. We moved last summer. First time, long um, time. First time, long time. Um, we love you. First time, long time. Nope. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Kaylee, we we moved, and she was very nervous about making new friends. And so it was just it, it was really neat to see uh, as loud as they were, as kind of crazy as they were, as much as I thought they were going to destroy the house. It was neat to see that she had a bunch of friends over, and they were enjoying themselves uh, playing a admittedly silly kind of stupid game. But you know, it was it was good. Hey, you know what? It's all apples to me. Hmm. Applesauce. Applesauce. What How kind of, what kind like? of like green cards do they? Oh, well, not the green card. That's, that's usually like hilarious or yeah. yeah. Um, John Cena comes up a lot. I don't think they've shuffled the deck all that much, all that well. But John Cena. Do they know who John Cena is. No, in fact, only uh, only one. Well, my mother especially doesn't know who John Cena is because the first few times we played it, we played it as a family, and John Cena got pronounced as John Cena every single time. Um, but he has come up in every game they've played, so the cards are not getting shuffled that that well. You should take that one out. I, I kind of want to take that one out. But then there's all sorts of TV shows and um, uh, kids stuff, stuff that they would know, but there's just as many that they have no idea about. Um, so it's it's interesting to see it happen. What's really interesting is um, this. Nobody nobody cares. Um, what's, <laughs> I don't care. No. Okay. Um, when my younger daughter, who's five and can only kind of sort of read, um, decides to play with my mother, um, she will pick out and, and occasionally come up with really good ones just by chance because she'll look at them and she'll go, I want to use this one put it down and it ends up being really funny. That's the same way I do it. I don't, I don't bother <laughs> reading the words on there. She's like, uh, that one. Can this game be over, please? Yeah. Yeah. Can this podcast be over, please? No, well, I hope nobody's thinking that right now. No one's thinking that you're it's hilarious. Me, me talking about apples to apples in my 10 year old's birthday party. No, I mean, it's important. It's something that happened in your life, Chris, it's something that happened in my life. Yeah. I don't want it to be about me and my trip to Chicago the entire mm, time. The entire I want to have a conversation, a conversation with you. I don't want to just be like, blah, 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 blah. Southwest Airline is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's Maybe. just at the beginning that, and the end. That's, that's at the beginning that's the, and the that's end. Like the, that's, it's a sandwich. Well, no, Southwest wouldn't be the sandwich. Chicago Chicago is like sandwich. the meat of the sandwich, and the meat was very good, but, but it, it was, was it was, like, it was the bread was 
you know, like moldy. The du- no, no, no. You know the double down. You remember how it was like two? Yes, two but pieces. as we said, I never got to eat the double. Okay, well, the double down was two pieces of chicken, mm-hmm. which had like bacon and let's just say bacon and cheese, right? Yeah. Well, let's just say that uh, Chicago was instead sausage and mm. cheese and and pizza and and peppers or whatever else you oh, like right. on your yeah. sausage mm-hmm. or whatever. And the roll on either side was made out of shit. <laughs> mm, that sounds yummy. No. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I mean, the Chicago stuff was yummy. Yeah, but and you I, gotta I, get through the you shit. You have to throw out the roll. <laughs> okay, but it's shit. I mean, was it hardened shit? I don't know. Is that like focaccia bread <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like packed into a nice square. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that kind of... I, 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 well, I like a soft bread. Yeah. They give me a nice little... I like a soft shit. I do too. <laughs> those are nice. Those, well, you know, you don't want to like too firm and hurt your butthole mm, as yeah. it's coming out. Yeah, I had one of those this afternoon. It was not, it was not pleasant. What did you eat? I don't know. I had a, I had a. Well, it was spring break last week, and I, I went out and uh, I treated myself on Thursday. I went out with my friend Brendan uh, on St. Patty's Day. That was ah, Thursday, right? yeah. Got um, a little hammered, did we? Um, no, it was, it was the middle of the day, and I still had to go pick up the kids. Um, and we went to the Outback Steakhouse. I had the first steak I had in a really long time, but wow. that was Thursday. I don't and know. you haven't shit since then? No, I have. So that's, I don't know. Like, what the hell did I have over the weekend that would have... metabolism do you have? <laughs> I don't like, know. I'm going to hold on to this steak for three or four days. Is that a good metabolism or a bad metabolism? Bad metabolism. That's bad. I, want, probably, I think I have a bad metabolism. You want, you want your body to be processing things constantly. I think that would be that would be nice. I don't know if I do. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Anyway, so I don't know what I owe. I'm no nutritionist, but that's what you should do. <laughs> but that's what you should do. I so, know. like, okay, so when was the last time you flew somewhere? Disney? Uh, last time I flew somewhere, yes, was Disney. And on the way back was shit. But um, oh, well, who, where, what, what airline? Uh, was it United? It might have been United. We went through Atlanta. Whose hub is in Atlanta? Is that United? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's American. I don't know. Whoever's hub is in uh, Atlanta, that's where we were on. And but like when 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 you when you booked the the flight, you you chose your seats, correct? Yes. So the thing that Southwest does, I mean, mm. they're cheap. Yeah. But you also have to like if you don't print out your boarding passes like in advance and mm-hmm. you, you don't get on the plane immediately, right. you get a bad seat because it's sort of a free for all. Right. And if the plane is full, yeah. And for some or no reason, I don't know how they fuck fuck this up on the way back. Mm. It, it was oversold. Yeah. How do you oversell a plane? I, I they I, that I've wondered about, and I wonder whether they like, do it because they expect a certain percentage of people not to show up. Is that or to cancel? Or I don't know how that works. With I guess like if because like it's a really tough thing to get to the airport and get through, like the security yeah, I, and I, get all. The, mm, mm. So, so they oversold this one. Yeah, but we—I mean, we got we got on the plane, but yeah. it was just like, why do you ever sell, oversell the goddamn flight? Yeah, you know how many seats are on it. You can't fit more. And I, this is something we were talking about when we were standing in line mm-hmm. for a very long time, waiting to get to security. Right. I'm like, I, I don't understand why you're all f- like at least at, at uh, Midway. That's where we flew yeah. into and out of. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't understand why. You have like this one like bottleneck of, of mm. how you're getting people in. Yeah. I mean, I understand we need security precautions. Right. That's that's important. Yeah. But you have like these certain instances where like you'll randomly get like a TSA free. You don't have to go through the, mm-hmm. to the TSA checkpoint. And I'm like, well, if that's random, then how are you doing your job? Yeah, I I don't I don't understand the whole security theater uh, bullshit that that has sprung up since. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's always kind of been there, but especially since two thousand one, it just I don't I don't understand it. I don't get how we're any safer. Um, based, yeah, like you said, if they just randomly pick someone out, they're like, "Yep, that person's." Fine. What if that person was like somebody like shoe bomber or some yeah. other fucking idiot? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like if and they make you know everybody else go through a full body scan. And they're looking at my penis. Mm. They find anything in there. I don't know. No, not much. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing tucked away. Um, I, I, I don't want to say who, but I, I've been on a flight. Um, well, uh, so it's somebody in my family, isn't it? Uh, if I, but I've been on flights with people um, who have uh, been, uh, what is, is it? 
pre-screen or what, like because of, based on their job or based on something they get to skip the whole line and that i mean that i guess makes sense because they fly often enough or they're affiliated with a uh, with but what if like you know some sort of isis group like gets into t- into touch with this person and like mm. sways them i doubt i doubt it would happen right but this is hypothetical we're talking here yeah. what if something like that happened then fucking yeah you're like well maybe we should have fucking check everybody well then check everybody and do it quickly you know how many people are coming to this airport today or right. approximately amount that mm-hmm. that amount fucking staff your airport to reflect that amount of people and get them into the fucking airport so they can fucking fly Mm. and you can fucking make money isn't that the whole fucking point i think that is the fucking point i'm sorry (laughs) (laughs) um i had so much better of an experience when i flew to seattle and and that was the i mean was it also southwest or no that was jet blue okay i got to watch a little tv on the back of the screen occasionally it would go out but whatever i'm watching television are you are you ready to drink folks what you've heard the pat Oswalt bit about jet blue right i'm (laughs) I don't think so. He has a great bit about JetBlue, and he says that's the last airline he'll ever fly because of the screens and the basket of candy and the... Um, yeah, they uh, give you, like, little treat. But it's, like, it's not like... Well, the treat we got was those Belvita Nabisco treats. This was on the... This is on the... On Jet Southwest. Blue. Oh, okay. On yeah. Southwest. We, yeah. we got these little cookie yeah. cracker thingies. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you have, a deal with Nabisco or something like that? This is the only thing you're giving out to anybody? Yeah. And it's like the it's like the you're on a diet for uh, for like two weeks uh, kind of cookie like that like that's my impression of Belvita. It's I don't know they keep on showing people dipping it in in plain yogurt and I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I I don't know. No it's one like, should eat plain yogurt. It's yeah it's it seems like one of those health foods that's really not really a. Health it's food. not a health food. Like but that, that, that it's that's, just a cookie and they're like they're like it's oh like a but there's cookie. they showed like like pieces. fucking Oreo thins. Fucking Oreo. I'm sorry. I'm going to get, like, I eat a fucking Oreo. Like, that's, if you want a fucking Oreo, there, eat a fucking Oreo. What's Oreo Thins? Oreo even, Thins, apparently. I don't the, go in the cookie aisle, apparently. Well, I, saw, I saw an ad for it. I have not seen them in person. But Oreo Thins, in my understanding, the the. If I see that Oreo are, Thin in person, I'm going to punch it right in the fucking face. Fucking, I might. Why They're, are you so the, angry? The, 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 the cookie, the sandwich part, the cookie part, the sandwich. The outsides are thinner, right? And then there's less filling in the middle. So it's like half, I think it's about half the size of a regular Oreo. I'm spending most of the time <laughs> of, of the Chicago conversation talking about the airport and cookies. <laughs> and, and 10-year-olds playing uh, fucking apples to apples. Anyway, so you, ugh, fucking Oreo thins, Belvita, and he's fucking dumbass. But, that, but, I went, but when I went to Seattle, I... I yes, what did I, you get in Seattle? I mean, on on JetBlue. That's what I wanted to ask. I got like there was like a, a basket of treats, and mm. I had I had my pick of them. And there was like mm. chips or some other. It's like cookies. fucking Halloween every every flight. Yeah, and it was a long flight, so they gave me more than one. Yeah, it's like the nice lady, and like uh, who lived up on uh, on uh, Douglas. I think Douglas was the. It's like it's like one of the nice, really rich lady who's who's got like the big bucket of, of candy on on Halloween, and she's like, yeah, take whatever the fuck you want. She didn't say fuck, but she. We didn't. We didn't, I don't know if we we had any trick or treaters. Oh well, we might have. We put the bowl out, but they didn't yeah. take everything. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why. Yeah. But Je- so JetBlue gives you the big, the big like um, JetBlue is like the nice lady at at at, at Halloween, and 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 uh, Southwest is kind of like the so stin- West, Southwest the is like one of those guys man. that can't have kids comes to his door. Yeah, he's like he's got a BB gun up in the window, and he's no. Like, I'm talking about somebody that's a sex offender. <laughs> What a B, I can't, a, I'm, a I'm, sex offender can't have a BB gun. As I, about two seconds away from saying a BB gun can't have a sex offender. No, that they can't, I guess, because no. I don't think objects can own people. Mm. Can a corporation own people? Well, I know oh, but maybe, a maybe is a person. Maybe if you Fuck. fed the gun a devil fruit. <laughs> All right, so yeah. <laughs> We got horror, Billy. Um, you are, are <laughs> so now you're flying back from Chicago. No, no, we're, let's go. Let's go to there first. The flight was there. Was the flight there any better? It was. I don't know. Becky didn't like the flight there because we were in the very back of the plane. Okay, which you're in the just, ass end of the. But plane. I mean, it was fine when we had to go to the bathroom because it was right there. Mm-hmm. And luckily, no one. I was like that part. Dropping twos in the plane. Oh yeah, I don't like that part. Yeah, they didn't do that, okay. so it wasn't like stinky or anything back there. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, we like uh, it's just <laughs> it's 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 very the seats are too close together. Yeah, it was yeah. just. Eh. They haven't watched that Jennifer uh, Garner commercial. Yeah, they didn't see her like saying, you know, people don't want to be sardines, and mm. but like, it, it like flying is way more convenient than driving. Yes, like to drive to Chicago, it probably would have taken us like uh, we maybe could have gotten there in nineteen hours. That's my yeah. guess. Yeah, because I think you can get to Cleveland in about twelve. Okay. And so to get from Cleveland to, to Illinois, maybe uh, hmm. that's a guesstimate. It's probably wrong. Maybe it's and that's thing. going through our country, not going crossing over into Canada, or is that well, you, no, you wouldn't go into you wouldn't need to go into Canada. No, oh, not to get to. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, my I had friends who moved from uh, New Hampshire to uh, Det- uh, to the, not Detroit itself, but the Detroit area, and they when they were moving back and forth, they crossed. Through Canada, Canada. They're like, do you have any fruits with you? <laughs> no, they left. They left me up behind. <laughs> um, so we we got there. We landed. We, there. we were very happy that we we're no longer on a fucking plane. Yes, and, 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 and that it didn't take nineteen hours. Yes, it didn't car. take forever. Mm-hmm. Like that. That's the bonus. And mm-hmm. occasionally, like you know, my other trip, I had you have an okay time. Mm-hmm. You get to. Uh, the place that's almost 3,000 miles away in five hours. Right. Occasionally. 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 And you get all the candy in the world. I, didn't, I don't or know if I had a lot of candy. I did buy candy when I was in Seattle. Hmm. I mean, you, on the flight, you get all the goodies in the world. Yeah. That's what I mean. And I got to watch Married with Children at 7 in the morning. <laughs> that's so totally, that so totally <laughs> lines up with the Patton Oswalt bit. It's hilarious. Man. So... Yeah, and so we get there, we we get in a cab, and we got one of the nicest, like, I I don't know, like, when was the last time you, like, took a, a cab anywhere, uh, or an Uber, or whatever? I, I don't take them very often. It's been been five, at least five years, maybe ten. So, uh, my preference mm. in the two is you have, like, the guy that doesn't say anything mm-hmm. driver, yeah. or the guy that's a ch- chatterbox. So I would imagine your preference depending, is the don't I, say anything. No, well, like, the thing is, it's just depend on what kind of mood I'm in, okay. or depending on what they're saying and what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. In, in this instance, yeah, uh, he was was very very chit chatty, loquacious. Yeah, but you know what? He was he was very upbeat. He was mm-hmm. in a good mood. Yeah, and like despite us being like you know having to have gotten up really early and get on a plane yeah. you know it kind of he kind of brought our energy back up mm-hmm. which was cool and he was telling about telling us about you know cool places to go to mm-hmm. get some like the the classic chicago deep dish yeah. and like you know the, the popcorn that i had mentioned in the, the part popcorn. that i was crinkling around the, earlier the, the, i can't get i it. got it <laughs> Popcorn I was mentioning popcorn. earlier. Crinkle, crinkle. He was like, you should go there to get some popcorn and mm-hmm. da, da, da. And, and it was cool. Like, he was a nice guy. And then, yeah. So we got to the got to the hotel. And then we went immediately to the place he, he had suggested to get some deep mm-hmm. dish and for lunch. And it was, it was fucking great. Yeah. Unfortunately, we got one that was too big. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have, like, a microwave. Yeah, or, yeah. or we had the mini bar. Got it. Which is... Did it cost you just to like even open the fridge? I, I don't know. It might have. <laughs> I don't know um, what the final bill was. Yeah. Like I looked in the fridge. Uh oh, there's a uh, re- restocking fee. Restocking for opening the fridge. What the fuck? <laughs> they got to charge for everything, man. They just, just got to. This this was one of the the few times that I've been in a hotel room that they had the mini bar. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, they just have a fridge that yeah. you can put stuff in, and they sometimes have a little microwave. So if you do order like a giant deep dish pizza and can't mm-hmm. finish it all, right. we actually get the medium size, which we thought would be fine. But yeah, we, but we it turned out to be we should have gotten the small. Yeah, but I forget what that place was called. It was like. Ch- 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 the exchange qui exchange qua. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it had like you know a QUE. I remember for what some... year it was that I went to Chicago. I don't remember the name of the place we went. But um, yeah, we went there. That was fun. We had some pizza and some beers, mm. which was, and me having beers was the was the theme. <laughs> was the theme. I like. I'm this. This is the first day in a while that I haven't had any. This, this alcohol. is the first show in a while too. That you haven't had any alcohol. 
sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm just saying um, I. Uh, so first day in a while. So you had you were even kind of like I had well I, like yesterday. Well, I don't know. I get a teeny bit nervous going on a plane. So yeah. I usually will have a drink before I get right. on a plane. Yeah, which is what I did. Um, and then I had a you know beer with lunch yesterday, but mm. that was. And then I'm like, ah, no more beer for no a more. bit. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's. But but while you were in Chicago, it was like a daily thing. Oh gosh. Well, I was there <laughs> on St. Patrick's Day. Oh okay. Well, well we like, haven't gotten there yet, right? No, I mean, uh, like, we uh, we did. Uh, I mean, we were there for for Becky's work, and mm-hmm. like you know, the we went to the convention hall. It was like she was uh, doing some uh, art educators thing mm-hmm. for. Uh, for her company, I won't, I won't mention. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there was also Chicago Comic Con going on at the same time. Oh, holy shit! Yeah. Oh, okay. And so there was crazy amounts of nerds everywhere, mm-hmm. and uh, I was hoping because I had a pass because I was helping them set up. Stuff yeah. And what, I did do that. I I earned my keep, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell was it that I would? <laughs> uh, Oh, never mind. I completely forgot. I made a really funny comment from well, like right after we had breakfast to when we went to the convention hall. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yes, it was about uh, like al- puppy alchemy. It's not puppy. I, <laughs> There's a title, puppy <laughs> alchemy. I forget. I forget what like how it transpired. Like <laughs> we were just talking because we just we had just seen this really fluffy puppy. Mm-hmm. It, it, it wasn't like a super fluff ball. And it wasn't but it was dyed like, green. It wasn't dyed green, no. Okay. And it was like I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of dog it was, but mm-hmm. it was adorable. And it was and and Becky and her Bichon and her, her work friend uh, no, were were very excited to see this small dog. Mm. But then the uh, the the Uber driver showed up, and then we, mm. we got oh and, so so yeah we couldn't we couldn't, couldn't bring the dog we couldn't pet yet. the puppy anymore. But uh, but we 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 made so it sad. through that tragedy, <laughs> <laughs> and we got to the convention center, and I put in I, I put together IKEA furniture for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you earned your keep putting together IKEA furniture. Oh my God, was I hurting after that? <laughs> so I'm like, let's drink. See, when I went to conferences, um, including the the year that I went uh, to the conference in Chicago, it was. Um, always at small, uh, small kind of boutique hotels. Um, so we never got to use the convention center. What, what the hell? Oh, the hotel Allegro. Allegra? Allegro. Allegra is like a, isn't that an antihistamine? Yes. I think it's also a printing company in Cambridge. Um, but, which is why I, okay, but yeah, Hotel Allegro, I think in the theater district in, uh, in Chicago was where we were at. And, um, they always really, really nice. Uh, I think that might have been one of the years the socks were in it. No, I can't remember. That we were always our conference was always um, around ALCS time, um, and ah. and it was in the well. Doesn't the NLCS at the same time? Yeah. Well, so and it was in the middle. Uh, it was in the mid two thousands. Uh, so if it was, was the year that the things. socks were in it, or wait, maybe if it was the one that we weren't in it. Mm. Or it was 2003 or something like that. Yeah. Then it wasn't the weren't the Cubs like no, the first one I ever did was 2004. So it was like somewhere between 2004 and 2011 were, were the years that I was uh, I was traveling. Okay, so 2004 and 2007 were the ones that the Red Sox yes. were in the World Series. Yep. And the Tigers were in it one year because my my boss was from Detroit, so we were watching that them play in a series at one point, and Denver. No, Denver, Denver, what Denver. F- why I don't why, I don't know why Denver, I'm is, Denver. is not no it's oh, it's oh. Call it the Rockies is, was is, that was that 2007 for 2007, us 2007 we beat the Rockies okay maybe it was 2007 I was in Chicago because my friend um, I had a friend who uh, Denver moved to the <laughs> Denver Denver um, I went to Denver later that's why I'm so fucking confused um, I had a friend who lived in the Chicago area and her then boyfriend um, and now husband was a Rockies fan. Uh, and, wow, and there, we watched, there, there are some of them, I there guess. There are some of them, and we were watching the Rockies. Uh, I think that NLCS. that area is a better area for um, for an expansion team. Mm. Didn't we talk about this before? Like, I don't know. 
I think I might have. Denver? Just, I probably talked. No, not Denver. Chicago. No, I'm talking about big expansion teams. Or mm-hmm. I might have been talking about this to somebody in a drunken stupor. Perhaps. On St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, Becky had to work. Right. And so, but I was just so like. You were, you were drinking. I went out. I went to the, the local 22, I think was the name of the place. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, I just started chatting up some folks that were nearby, had some corned beef and cabbage and mm, ugh, to potatoes. And oh, God. They didn't give me a lot of cabbage, which was great because that's the worst part. <laughs> the, the, boiled, the, the boiled cabbage. The smell of it makes me nauseous. The thought of it makes me nauseous. Really? Oh, my God. Oh, I, I Stephanie tore... and my dad really love it. And they brought home, my, my oh, d- parents brought keep the home windows open. <laughs> uh, some, and I just went upstairs. Um, yeah. It's, I don't know. Like when I was a kid, I despised it. Mm. Like, cause you know, but that was probably again, because like my parents were, what really... did our parents do to our vegetables? <laughs> or, did that even make it into the show? Or was that part of the part of that one show that com- was completely lost? I don't know. I don't know that we ever did the. We we had a whole Brian, bit about uh, Brian. Email us again to <laughs> t- tell us, if tell us if that ever... actually happened. Yeah. I don't think it did. Um, cabbage when you were a kid so like yeah i mean like you know they probably ruined it but like but the you know the restaurant i went to and then later i had a corned beef sandwich mm. so that's a lot like all beef. i ate was corned beef that day <laughs> i don't i don't think i had breakfast yeah did i have breakfast that day i don't even know like yeah, they're all kind of like green coffee no they did and they they dyed the river green apparently the weekend prior to us being what there. What the fuck is up with that? I thought they did it on St. Patty's Day itself, but I guess not. It's just it's false advertising. Nah, whatever. I, false advertising. It was fine. And then so like a TSA. I, I went to this place and then I was talking to the people and I drank some beers, I did a shot of whiskey and some mm. other shit, and then I somehow stumbled. But wait, no, I went I, Oh, the first night we went to the barcade. <laughs> now I'm remembering. <laughs> Holy shit, I drank so much. <laughs> first night we went to the barcade, uh-huh. or one of the many barcades. Yeah. It, this one was the one that was closest, and it, it was pretty good. Mm. Um, the, the, the difference between this one and like the one up in Portland uh, was that this one, the except for two pinball machines, and they had mm. um, probably about... 10, maybe 12 of them. Yeah. Uh, except for two of them were, were free. Oh, nice. And every other arcade machine in the in the building was also free. So they were just making their money off the booze. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the, well, the thing is, like, the, the alcohol prices there were just a little bit higher hmm. than anywhere around here. And I, I think that's because, you know, just... It's because Chicago. they can have like things like happy it's hour. The second city, not the third well, city or the seventh city. The or trick whatever is Boston is all right. Well, like, like they can have happy hour because, but in most places in the world, except mm. for Massachusetts, <laughs> you can have this thing called happy hour, mm. where you can you can drink for cheaper from yes. like right after work until like seven o'clock or something right. like that. It's usually like from five to seven. Yeah. Which you is know, technically half, two hours. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's two hours. I'm so happy we forgot. Like I remember back, you know, when I was living up in New Hampshire, mm. like going up to Manchester with some folks, and yeah. like you know, going to uh, Strange Brew, right, and on Friday nights, and like you, well, know, you can live free or die. Like yeah, did, you know, the waitress would you know, bring your drink over and be like, "Do you want another one?" <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> "Yes, yes, I guess so." <laughs> so uh, yeah, like you know, but. You know, in Massachusetts, they apparently nope, not having it. Mad, like, got mad and said, "Don't, don't have this thing where people drink for two hours straight. Instead, just have them drink for five hours straight." It's just, I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense to me to, uh, to screw uh, screw over consumers for the sake of safety. Mm. That's a theme. What? Screwing over consumers for the sake of safety. It what are you happened talking at the, about? At the airport. At the airport oh yeah, <laughs> that is the theme today. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, All right, but yeah, the bar the bar so the was cool. We we uh we got to play a shit ton of pinball and mm. uh any any machines in particular or um they had uh Adam's family and some other ones. Mm. I wasn't playing. I, I was sort of off, but I think I was already kind of really tipsy buzz. yeah and we took a i don't know if it was a cab or an uber back <laughs> <It was> fuzzy <laughs> at the end of the night i'm sorry <laughs> uh, 
It's, but, been, it's been so long since I've taken a cab that Uber was not a thing that that existed the last time I. Yeah. I so like the, the they had a ACDC, which is Brian's favorite. Mm. They had uh, Metallica, the the WWF one or WWE. Oh, the with wrestling. John Senna. I think it did have John Senna in it. <laughs> I hadn't I hadn't gotten to play that one yet, which was and I, I didn't like it that much, so mm. that's probably why not too many or the place up in uh, Pelham doesn't have it because yeah. it's not that great of a machine. Great. I'm surprised, like there, it's been a long time since like it was originally announced, and I think it might actually come out this year, mm. like for actual retail sales. But the Big Lebowski pinball machine needs to belong in places. That's a thing that should should exist. I mean, we've talked about it before. We talked about it yeah. way before. Way, like, way, way, way back. So if you're a long time listener, long time, first time, we love you, long time. Why do you have to do the same bad joke I don't twice? No, I'm really annoyed with myself. Like every time I speak right now, I want to punch myself in the face. Don't do it. I'm not gonna. But I just, just so all of you know, if I am extra annoying tonight, I know I am extra <laughs> annoyed with myself. So, <laughs> we, we, I mean, they, there was like some arcades that uh, uh, one of them I was playing was the RoboCop machine. Mm. It was a, it wasn't a pinball machine. It was this a, is John Connors in that. Robocop. Yeah. It's... Not Terminator. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude. I'm just kidding. That one was one of the quotes on our uh on our on our five star ratings mm. is I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that. Which for is a dollar. which uh your brother put. Yes. And that is a quote from Robocop. Yes. John it's Connor like... says it. <laughs> <laughs> so... No, no, it's not John Connor. Who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of uh Robert Patrick. Is that the name of the the, the no. crazy guy on the television with no, the mustache? I can't remember. Oh, that's Max Hedrum. No, stop mixing up your movies. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, who's the? It's, it's the, the. It's not a famous guy. It's, you wouldn't know it, the name it's of the, the guy. T eight hundred that like guns down Robocop at the end, right? Fuck! I hate myself right now. I <laughs> did. Why? I, okay, but I was I keep trying to be funny, and I'm not at all. But. It's okay. What is that robot? Go ahead. Sorry, I now the name now of the big weird crazy what, what robot the, at the end the of big... RoboCop. Yes, I, gotta I don't it. remember, but um, but okay. the, you have to fight it in the the end of the first level, which makes oh. sense in the RoboCop game. <laughs> oh, okay. This is RoboCop game, not RoboCop pinball. No, not pin. I already mentioned that it wasn't pinball. Okay. So RoboCop, RoboCop. I'm like, there's no way like that, that. Well, this was just one of those games where it was designed to get you to put in more quarters, like because mm. like. Like the way you have to like possibly avoid like getting hit is it's like in some circumstances impossible, and it's one of those things you get hit once you die, mm. and it's like, oh wait no I I think you had a life bar but it went down really quick yeah yeah and I'm like what the fuck and I was just like this is free and I don't want to play it anymore yeah yeah you're I was not, getting you, so annoyed you're not down with OCP. I don't know what you're... OCP o, o, Omni Consumer Products. I think that's the the name of the uh, company in, in in the RoboCop. Oh, good. Well, I, I'm Omni, glad I'm glad you told me Omni that. Omni Consumer Products. Um, the the uh, is it ED two oh nine, ED two oh nine. I think is that's, that, I think that that's the one at the end. That's it, is that the picture? Let's see. That's yeah. It, that's right. the one. You ED have to fight that at the the beginning of the game. Oh, jeez. And I was like, nope. This I'm done. I'm done. That guy, uh, that guy's. If in, I was a robotic cop, I'd be like pissed off. That guy's in the Star Trek, the the uh, the RoboCop. Don't even no. We're no, not talking is, about RoboCop. He, I mean, he is. He, he's, but he's in he's in the Star Trek. Uh, what the hell? The is Next Generation name? or something? No, no, no. In like uh, Star Trek. Um, uh, Stop in, saying in, track. In, into darkness. Into darkness. He's the he's like the villain. Peter Weller. Peter Weller. Let me see that. That guy. That guy right there, he's he's like the bad guy on the uh, on the big big ass starship who did something bad to uh, to Khan. Spoilers, spoilers for a movie that was a remake of a movie that was good. Yeah. So you went to the barcade. Yes. You didn't like RoboCop. I didn't like Robo. I played some because uh, you couldn't play the T one thousand. Played some Donkey Kong and I got the mm -hmm. high score. And I'm like, guess there's not crazy donkey kong players in this neighborhood. no i would imagine not so that's not one that uh that what's his ass steve weeby 
Or, well, he, uh, Steve Wiebe lives out in in either Oregon or, uh, no, or Washington. He doesn't make it out to the second city. And Billy Mitchell lives down in Florida. Yeah. And the guy that that Ken Jennings. Wait, no, what, what, no, not Ken Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> he won something. Um, what was the Ken was something? It, or was it John? So it was I forgot. John Senna. It was it was some guy who was a doctor um, in New York, and he he had the championship for a while. And I think mm. I think Jules knows a guy that that took it from uh, one of the reigning. I think he might be the reigning champ, but I'm not sure. Yeah, send us an email, Jules, or something. Yeah, Jules, please. Yeah. Uh, what is this one from? Uh, 2014. Um, Robbie Lakeman. Is the car is he the current one? I don't know. I don't know. The the headline of this article: the frequently influx world record for the highest score in Donkey Kong has been beaten by a relative newcomer. That's from uh, September 6, twenty fourteen. Well, the thing is, like thing Hank Chien. Is that who you were thinking of? Hank, yes. Hank. I don't know. It was Ken. <laughs> Ken, <laughs> Ken and Ryu. Ken, Ken Ryu. Oh, talk about a shitty game. So we play a little Mortal Kombat two every time. Mm, like I, play, that's a game. I play a Mortal Kombat two. Get over here! If I play Mortal Kombat two in the arcade, it seems that always one of the two sides is broken. Yes, I'm like seriously, guys. Like if you're gonna have this in the arcade, like this is like a two player fighting game. Fix the fix, fucking fix the thing or get yeah. rid of it. Like mm. what? Why even have it there if you're not gonna be able to like play? They have it I couldn't but... duck with one side. They have it there so that John Martin can always kick my ass at Mortal Kombat. Why? Because well, what if he's the <laughs> side that can't duck? <laughs> he he still beats me. Really? <laughs> he plays Raiden and I play Scorpion, and it's been that way for twenty fucking years or however. Well, if he can't duck, he can't dodge your spear unless he jumps, and then if he jumps, you just do the uppercut. I, he still beats me. It doesn't. It's like rock paper scissors, Chris. That's all. That's Rochambeau. all. Rochambeau. That's all. Fighting games are Ninja Hunter Bear. That's. Have you ever, you know Ninja Hunter Bear? Is that the new version of? No, it was paper, a, when I worked at the Apple Store. Somebody brought it in. It was like full body rock paper scissors, and uh, you had to stand back to back, and then you said Ninja Hunter Bear. You spun around, and you did. You, you was this do, like a team building exercise? It was or? a team building exercise. Yes, and so you had to like pose like the ninja. Um, or you had to uh, pose like you had a rifle, like you were the hunter, or you had to go like you're the bear. Um, and if you're the bear, do you rape Leo DiCaprio <laughs> to death? <laughs> yes. I, Leo DiCaprio came up a bunch in my uh, in my class today. Um, Why? Because he won the Oscar for I getting raped by making, a bear? I was kind of making fun of him for he that. He didn't actually get raped by a bear. He didn't? I, didn't see, the, I did not see the movie. Oh, he... He could still, you could. Uh, uh, it, well, he would have to be aroused by the bear. <laughs> <laughs> you could still, you could, if you're a dude, you could be raped by a woman. It's not common. I, I well, I by a bear woman. Yeah. Okay, so if she or she had bear. a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, you're you're defining the whole thing by penetration. Okay, but no, also, like, well, and I don't think that well, was uh, the bear giving him fellatio did you, did you that never... he didn't want. <laughs> What else what the, was there like heavy petting? Like what else? What else is <laughs> there that this bear could have done to him I don't know that if would there be is considered any other kind of petting with a bear? I think it's always heavy because they're large creatures. <laughs> yes, is that what you're getting at? I don't know. All right, so I so went what out happened on, on Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> Which day was you? You went to the barcade. Well, Tuesday was the barcade. Okay, Tuesday was the barcade because we left on Tuesday. Oh, okay. All right, and then we went there that first night. And then I went, and then next day, Wednesday was, uh, no, Thursday was St. Patty's. Thursday was St. Patty's so Day. Wednesday was the day, setup day. Okay. And it was okay. sweaty, and I was yucky because. But you still went and drunk, drank. I, went, I don't think we, we went crazy that night, okay. because we, we, we did a lot of hard manual labor right, stuff. Right. And then, so I think we had a. <laughs> you, you, I should have wrote this. Day. I should have just should read, have wrote a notes. journal while I was there. Because mm. journaling is the is the surefire way to enjoy a vacation. Well, at least took jotted down a couple of notes. I, I'll, Be like, I, you did this on this day. You did that, that on that. That day. said, I journaled on my fucking honeymoon. I should just look at my um 
which makes total sense. My credit card statement. In my <laughs> that would be your way of, of figuring out how you. I uh, might just what you did. I'd be like, I, I, oh yeah, I, I'll do the same thing. I kind of snuck that in there in the background. I did. I, I kept a journal when I was on my honeymoon because I was blogging. Oh, all I the, heard you. I was blogging all the time then, um, and I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to keep track of of what the heck we did, um, which is it's a good way of it. It is a good way of remembering. Um, and Steve is not getting up to go get a drink right now. I know. I'm just going and looking at my, I'm just explaining to the people listening why I am going on and on and on. And and I, um, okay. All right. Damn it. That's the day that I have my black hole. (laughs) It's the day with no charges. Yeah. Damn it. So somebody, you you got so drunk and somebody started, uh, just, uh, it was a bear. So yeah. Well, okay. Let's just do St. Patty's day. Cause I Mm. remember. Yes. St. Patrick's. And so, yeah, I had, uh, I went to Blue Frogs Local 22 Mm -hmm. and I met some folks there and completely forgot to mention the podcast and that we don't, do you do that? Do when you have, when you interact with new people, do you, do you tell them that you do a podcast? (laughs) Then you, you've teased me about this. You've gotten on me about this a bunch of times. And I forgot, I forget it once and you're going to give me shit. (laughs) Yes. But yeah, like I, I think they would have been receptive to listen to it too. Oh, that's uh, which that's which would have been great because yeah. then we you know they'd be like, oh, just this guy I met in this bar, and he does this podcast. It's pretty hilarious. You should listen to it. Yeah. And then we could have had word spread in Chicago, but not this time. Not this. So time. yeah, and then I went to some other. Oh, no, I, then I went. I was going to go back to the barcade because mm-hmm. it's St. Patty's Day. Right. But, like the place normally opens at five. Yeah. And so we, uh, I'm really, I'm, it's bugging me what we did on remember. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Focus on, on St. Pat, Pat, Patrick's, Pat, which was Thursday, Thursday, and then Friday. <sighs> <laughs> was that the day we went to the art museum or was that Saturday? Um, no, no, no. We didn't Saturday night. We, we were low key because yeah. we we're leaving on Sunday. Right. So for, Friday night, what we went was, to an art museum, art museum with, with Becky's work friend, uh, and that was weird. <laughs> well, okay, so but St. Patty's Day. Did you drink wine? At the, at the, no, I drink beer. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you know, maybe that was what was weird about it. You were, you're, you're being all sophisticated at the art museum. No, and but we, wine. we got yelled at several times for standing too close to paintings. Oh. Like, apparently my alcohol breath was getting on it. Yeah, it might ruin the, might ruin the, uh, the veneer. You ruined it! <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, St. Patty's Day, I went, uh, so I went to go back to the barcade because I figured mm. it's St. Patty's Day. They'll probably be open earlier. Maybe. So it was like two in the afternoon and I'm already pretty hammered. Yeah. From the first place. Which is the only way to play pinball. Yeah, because then you want to break <laughs> the machines. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I walked up there and I, I walk into the building because it was open. The doors were open. And I'm like, mm. all right, cool. <laughs> and I walk in and then nothing's on and no one's in there. And some guy's <laughs> like, we're not open till five. And I'm like, oh. Why, why is the fucking door open? Why you got the door open then? What are you doing to me? Mm. <laughs> Jerk offs. So then I went down the street to another bar. And then I drank some more there. And then Becky was almost done with her work day. So yeah. I decided to walk back. And then I and then I fell over and then <laughs> into into the bed when I got back, and um, yeah, <laughs> that was, there that wasn't was, much more of the evening. Wasn't much more of St. Patrick's because I was so fucking wasted. <laughs> well, that's more Irish than my St. Patrick's Day, which was spent in an Australian chain restaurant. <laughs> Should have at least gone to like an Irish place or something. If I'd gone to an Irish place, I would have had to smell corned beef and cabbage. Mm. Ugh. But Which yeah, literally does make me want to vomit. But the art museum was like, so we went to this art museum and like they were doing this late night thing, and then mm. they had this like, like this band playing like horns outside the building. For a second, I thought you said corn. And corn. They like... were playing corn. <laughs> it was really a surreal ex- experience <laughs> listening to corn while at an art museum and, corn, and figuring corn. One of these quartet. things is art, and one of these things is not, and I can't quite figure <laughs> out which. Did anybody ever listen to Corn? I think Kyle did. <laughs> I think Kyle was, but he was also like uh, into the insane clown posse, he, well beyond when the rest of us abandoned them. Right? Yeah, yeah. Kyle, you know, 
But he was like into things Kyle, like Slipknot. Kyle was and... in a band that played at the non-strip club side of the strip club that was down the street from my house once. What? What he, strip club that's down the, the street? Not, oh, that not one. Now, when I lived in New Hampshire, there was the, we've talked about this before. Mock Showplace. There was Mock Showplace. And the front of Mock Showplace was a... It was just like a music was just venue. A, was just a bar, yeah. Oh. And you could play down there. And, and uh, apparently Kyle's band played there. I think it was Kyle. Uh, Kyle's band played there once. Was it Carl? Um, Carl! Uh... I don't know, but they apparently they played. Uh, I don't know if they played or a band they were playing with played a cover of a Nine Inch Nails song. Everyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with Nine Inch Nails, and uh, and for a while there was obsessed with strip clubs. And yet I was finding out about, the, about this through like fucking Facebook, and I was like, what? It's fucking five minutes down the street from my house. Why did not anybody tell me that there was going to be? Why Nine did Inch not Nails anybody tell me? <laughs> played, Why did not you grammar with? <laughs> played by a band with a guy I knew in a strip club where I could have watched. I could have watched them cover Nine Inch Nails and then gone next door and, and done a motorboat. <laughs> yes, and gotten banned from the fucking strip club. You can't. You can't do motorboats. Oh, well, maybe you can. I don't know. Can you do motorboats? I don't know. Like in Florida, there was. Um, you could plenty put, of motorboats in Florida. You could put your like, a dollar in your mouth oh, or whatever, okay, yeah. and then they would take it away I from you in I, the bo- with the boobs. I think I've had that happen at other places. I don't know if I've had that had that happen at, a, at the place in New Hampshire. So I don't know. It, so you could just move your head a little bit. And move your head a when bit. you're doing that. A little bit, a little bit. New Orleans, I think I had that happen. We were at, when we went to Legs and Eggs. My friend <laughs> Chris had like a hat on, but he was wearing it backwards, and he had a dollar in his hat, and he looked yeah. like. Q, you look like quail man <laughs> that's gotta hurt though like like the like the little buckle on the front uh, well if he's got the buckle <laughs> if he's got the hat on backwards you know the part where like you buckle that would normally be in the back of your head where you like you it's not like a freaking pilgrim hat <laughs> no it's not a buckle but it's the part that... what the fuck else do you call that part of a hat i don't know the part where the thing but, but, but it's, you know. it's it's rough and that you get to put that in between the ladies the ladies bosoms that's not that's not nice so it's like that's if you're not like not clean shaven either mm. why did we get on strip clubs i don't know all right I'm... so uh yeah we went to this army and then we went inside Kyle and corn that's how we got on the yeah, strip Kyle. clubs <laughs> I don't think he listens. So I don't think so. Either. Disparage him. I wasn't disparaging. Hey, I you were. I, you were like this guy likes corn. I and didn't Slipknot. say he liked corn. You said he liked corn. I figured I, he liked I, corn. I said, "Who does like corn?" You're the one that took it there. What was that other one? Uh, Incubus. Incubus. Yes. Yeah, he was really into Incubus. Mm. He wasn't into Creed, was he? I mean, I can forgive pretty much anything except for Creed. I don't know. Like, I that one d- does not ring a bell with him okay. in, in my brain. Yeah, yeah. I, I can forgive almost everything except for Scott Stapp and Creed. That's unforgivable. All right. So we're Your at... Your arms wide open. Yeah. So we're at the... <laughs> that arm... guy. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Let it, let it go. <laughs> let it go. So yeah, I'm at the art museum. These guys are playing the horns, and then we go inside, and there's these people wearing like giant weird hats, and then there's ladies and gentlemen wearing the hats, and this mm. guy pretend smoking a cigar. We can dance if we want to. They were they were with hats. <laughs> oh, not what? Not without? Oh, whip it then. They weren't Devo either. No, those guys had hats. Yes, but they, you know, they they made music too, Chris, and I I think they prefer to be known by their music and not by their silly hats. Okay, thank thank you. I'm speaking for <laughs> Mark welcome. Mothersbaugh. All right, you're at the art museum. I'm at the art museum. We're There's seeing these people quartet crazy. playing corn. No, it wasn't string. Oh, a horn. They were quartet. playing horns. A horn tet. There were several people playing, playing different horns. I am not drinking, by the way. <laughs> no, he's not. All right, go ahead. Sorry. And and then we we went up and we were making these little paper uh, subway cars, and that was fun. Mm-hmm. And it was. Do they have subways in in in, in Chicago? Yeah, but I was I was sort of confused by them and how they worked, because like the rails are uh, on tracks above the road. Yeah, the L. Yeah. I don't know what that. The that, L. It's the elevated train. Oh, the elevated. L. I get it. Yeah. Um, you never saw The Fugitive? I did see The Fugitive. Yeah, they're on the L. They're like going back and forth. Or is that fucking 
the firm. That might be the firm. I think it was fugitive. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, it was it was because we brought up fugitive last we week did. when I said I was going to go to Chicago. We did. Um, and then I got I, I did that. That was all right. I mean, it was interesting. It was mm. fun. There was some weirdos there yeah. and, and elitist assholes, the kind of people you would see at an art museum. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> nobody, you, nobody who was into corn. I don't think any of these people had ever even heard of corn before. Mm. I bet you. I they bet were you young. Least, they were young oh, okay. and then trendy, and I don't think they were gonna know some I band from say, the nineties, which came out like around the time they were born. At least one of the people running the museum probably listened to corn when they were in grad school. You know what? I was looking at the or, like when I was at the I first bar when I was still somewhat in like my brains were still there. Yeah. Mm. Um, we, I looked at the wall and they had that thing where it was like, if you were born before this date, you know, mm. you can't drink or, oh. or, or after this date or whatever. Yeah. After, after not before. <laughs> if you were born after this date, you only not people that to... are below 21 years old can drink here. <laughs> you are too old. You but it was, uh, old. the people that were born in 1995 can drink now. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. And I'm like, people that were born... Not all people born in 1995. Not, but just people in early early 1995. Yeah. Shit. So everybody that was born in 94. So, yeah. I graduated from that. I know, and I'm two years behind you, so shut up. Ugh. But yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, that's around the time when I think corn was something, maybe. (laughs) Yes. And so, like, the, the, these people that are, you know, young 21-year-olds or, you know, 25 or whatever, mm. they're not going to know what corn is. They, they might have listened to it in their crib. Why? Uh, what, what kind of mental defective parent would do that? <laughs> the kind of mental defective parent that, you know, got, got drunk and fucked to corn and then got pregnant and nine, nine months later popped out a kid. And then we're listening to corn and creed and all your favorite <laughs> bands <laughs> creed oh my god i fucking hate that band oh i if i ever saw that guy i would just want to punch him oh you wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it i'd want to punch him i, I didn't say just I sit there and like want to punch somebody instead yeah. of leaving the room mm. maybe well i'm, I'm assuming unless that you're I, trapped on a plane I'm right next to him that i'm being strapped down and and that that uh, Scott Stapp is singing, you know, with arms wide open, right? Well, they're face. like holding your eyes open yes. and putting little droppers mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm assuming. That's that. I mean, if if we're gonna torture me, let's go all the fucking way. Well, the thing is with that, and like it, like in Clockwork Orange, you, they were showing him things that he liked mm. and making him hate the things that he liked. Oh god! So this would, would be, be the opposite. Yeah. yeah, they would they would try to make you like Creed. So if you're in a Clockwork Orange, what are they showing you? things that i like yeah so like they're showing like <laughs> don't make me say it <laughs> there, are, are i, I show- slipped in a reference earlier that you oh, didn't you didn't, didn't catch um so like are there pirates fuck you <laughs> i guess they would just show me all 730 it, like, 34 like, episodes of one piece they have it on like nine nine different screens at once like showing you different uh different ones yeah. would they show you the simpsons at all yeah i like the simpsons okay popcorn they like feed you popcorn no chicago you didn't like that i don't like popcorn oh you don't like popcorn in general not just that popcorn. yeah i just because there's like no matter what Mm. if i eat popcorn there's a good chance it's gonna get a kernel stuck in my teeth and it's gonna annoy me for the rest of the night because i don't usually carry around a toothbrush or floss or any of that crap Mm. so yeah not 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 something you keep in your purse i don't have a purse your purse I don't have a purse. Mm. <laughs> I have a backpack. You do, which I don't use often. But I did on this little trip. What? What, it, what the fuck day? <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. Where did we go on Wednesday I night? Don't no. Where did you go on Wednesday? I'm I'm gonna take a look while you think about that. Um, because uh, oh, we. I, I, I want to see if there's anything else we haven't talked about. Um. Oh, we talked. We Obama going to. Cuba. Yeah, he's in Cuba. I, I did mention cigars earlier when I was talking cigars, about the art show. We never, we never. Uh, yeah, Obama's in Cuba. He nominated a Supreme Court justice while you were away, uh, who has yet to be confirmed. Big surprise. I doubt that that'll happen anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, I had spring break. I started watching um, Daredevil, the second season, um, which is uh, fantastic so far. Best Punisher ever. Um, 
on screen at least. Dolph Lundgren, not so good. Oh come on, he was great. <laughs> He's great. Uh, and my wife started talking. watching Glee of all things. I think you, I, did, did, did I, I mention? Did I mention that I had watched one episode of Glee on this show? I think you have at some point. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I will. I will reiterate. You've watched one episode of the Glee. one episode of. I was like, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna give it a shot. Mm-hmm. When no, <laughs> she doesn't know either. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought that was Tuesday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you you watched one episode of one Glee. episode of Glee, which was the 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 one where the gay kid had his first gay kiss. Oh okay, and I'm like, uh, it's too gay. Too gay. It's too gay. I'm sorry, it was too gay for me. <laughs> You're so gay, and you don't even like boys. What? You don't even like boys. Is this a song? You don't even like penis. I don't. It's Katy Perry. Oh. You're so gay. Th- that's a real song? That's a real song. What? Was I, Katy Perry's uh, first big record. I don't oh, know if yes, I know. I don't know we... if it was her first record ever, but yeah, it was the, the same record that had um, uh, had uh, uh, I Kissed a Girl, um, had uh, You're So Gay, spelled you, uh, U-R. All right, so, so I figured it out. Um, well, with the help of Becky, mm. we, after, after the setting up stuff, mm. we went to a place called Kroll's, which I kept on calling Nick Kroll's. Mm. And, uh, we just had a couple bites to eat and then we went back to the hotel and then kind of crashed. Got it. All right. So now we have the mystery of the missing Wednesday. <laughs> the whist- mystery the of, whist- whist- of the whist- whist- whistling Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, so, okay. So Obama went to, to Cuba, Cuba and like, yes. you know, I'm sure there's like, and Fo- Fox News is um, at the gym this morning. I saw Fox News' uh, take on it was uh, something about um, like a cold shoulder. Like, so I guess the president of Cuba was not, or I don't know if it's, is Fidel Castro still alive? I don't know. All right. So it's Raul Castro or something that he's meeting with. And wasn't that Raul person, Julia because he's dead. <laughs> that person did not meet the president at the airport. Um, and that was, I think, what Fox News was leading with. But, uh, you know, he's um, he's there with uh, with the whole family. Um, uh, and um, there's a, I believe, photoshopped image um, that I favorited on on the Twitter. Um, let me see if I can find this of him giving a, um, a thumbs up to hand jobs. Uh, yes. Uh, no. To um, Donald Trump. On the wall. The, let me tell me, I'll see if I can link this in the show notes. Um, does that look that Photoshop to you? He's pointing to the. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the president have, has ever done that pose. Has ever done that I pose. hope he does. I mean, he lo- it looks pretty authentic, but um, it, the, the, this was Catherine Valente um, tweeted this out. She said, Obama in Cuba is peak no fucks given, um, which is. Pretty uh, pretty accurate, I would imagine. Last president to visit uh, Cuba, uh, Calvin Coolidge in 1928. Wow. Um, good old Calvin Coolidge. Good old Calvin Coolidge. So, okay, so he goes there, and then I'm, I'm assuming that, 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 that Republicans are uh, up in arms that we're even having any sort of conversations with them. I don't know. Their communism and their blah, 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 blah. Because capitalism has worked out so well. <sighs> The thing that bugs me about this is the, these are the same people that, that hate Cuba and say that mm. we shouldn't have any relationship with them. And I'm sure that these same people that are saying that desire and probably have purchased Cuban cigars. It's a cigar from, like from Cuba, Cuba. I don't bite it. It's just for the looks. No. I don't light it. It's just for the looks. I don't bite it. What the fuck is that? It's, it's Will Smith's song. Oh, okay. It's, Cigar from yeah, like from Cuba, Cuba. I don't bite it. For the looks, I don't light it. What is what? Okay, so but like, and it's the same hypocrisy that like for someone like Dumpf <laughs> says like I want to get rid of all Dumpf. the illegals, but mm. if you look at his records over the years or whatever or the or mm. the lack of them, yeah, and uh, and you'll probably find in every single place in every single building that he's ever owned, mm. there has been 
people working under the table for illegal illegally 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 i mean i don't know if there's any truth to that mm. but there's a good chance i'm sure there were some 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 young ladies probably working under the table legally oh shit <laughs> to, depending on which state it was happening in i think there's only one that's okay that's not okay in like other places no mm. escorts are legal some places wait right? is in, is jersey is is it legal hmm I heard this the other day. Everything is legal in Jersey as long as you don't get caught. Oh, what? <laughs> that's like a line from like uh, 1776 or something like that. Okay. I don't know. No, I, that's not what it's from. But uh, I, I listened to a whole podcast the other day on a long walk that was supposed to be about uh, the Apple. Oh, I thought you were listening today. to a pos- podcast that was uh, on the topic of long walks. No. Uh, it was it was supposed to be on on uh, on the Apple event that happened today, but it ended up being about um, uh, 1776 and Hamilton um, and uh, Alexander Hamilton, the the musical about Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton was a dink. I I am I have no, I have no basis on which to to to. Re, to uh, I do. I watched that uh, John Adams thing oh, that was I, on HBO. I did see. And that. Hamilton was a fuck. Face. Was he a fuckface? I can't remember. He's the guy that's on the ten dollar bill. I know, and he might stay on the ten dollar bill because of this musical that's out now that everybody is all uh, crazy about. I'm not crazy about it. I've, I haven't even seen it or heard of it, mm. and I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. They went to the White House. President invited them. Well, I don't care. Fuck Alexander I he, Hamilton. I don't, he, I don't think he brought them to Cuba. And his fuck butt. Fucking Alexander Hamilton. You're an Aaron Burr guy. Yeah, sure. Aaron Burr. <laughs> Um, are we done? We are way past done. We are we are, <laughs> we are well on the way to the next episode if we keep going. Um, yeah, if you if you enjoyed uh, this, um, you can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash eighty six. And uh, if you you can would, overdub that with eighty seven if that's the case. <laughs> no, I think it's eighty six. Isn't it eighty six? I'm looking. Is it? Wait, the last time we recorded here was 86. Did we record at my house after that? I think it was 86. It was 86. This can't be 86. It's 86. It's pretty, Let me look. I'm looking. I'm pretty sure it's 86. Uh, well, well, Yes, super, you're right. It's, it's 86. 86. See, I'm not always an idiot. Last episode. Was um, you can uh, clarkwoods.com slash hot slash 86. Uh, if you want to send us an email, that's hot at clarkwoods.com. And you can reach Chris on Twitter. That's at ECC1977. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> you did. You can reach Steve on Twitter. He's at two. Tuesday is loser. That's Tuesday. I S loser. All one word. Or I haven't promoted this in a while. Uh, at uh, O P T C uh, spam sixty nine. You are down with O P T C. Yeah, you know me. Mm. Um, I think that's it. That's all. Um, that's all she wrote. You want some popcorn? If you want some popcorn? I would love some. Oh. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome.